Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia, a machine for pigs. I'm Ultima Mantoid. Let's see, how do I do this again? Okay, there we go, alright. I got the controls down again. Oh boy, it's been a while since I've touched this game, and I was wanting to have it finished by Halloween, except that didn't happen because I got sick. So, I don't, okay, I do remember where I am, and I'm glad I left off where I did. I'm gonna get the shit scared out of me coming around this corner, aren't I? I don't like that. Oh, God. I don't even know if I can play this game. Try not to scream. Down here, Daddy. Faster, faster. Okay. That's the lantern button. Alright. I'm good now. So, again, I apologize for not having finished this game. I wanted to finish it for Halloween, but I came down very sick with the flu, and I sounded awful, so I didn't want to record while I was sick. Um, and also, there's a reason that the master levels haven't been finished yet either. So, and that's because I decided to. Um, what the fuck? What was my action button? One second. Input. Oh. I guess I should grab it. Okay, apparently I'm dumb. Alright, we're gonna do this. Or I can just fall. Nice. Now how do I climb up the ladder? I click. I fucking click. Right. Nice. I'm dumb. <clears throat> Whoa. Why did he just keep walking? Alright, cool. Okay, I don't like where this hole is going. I don't think there's any other way to go, but down. That means I gotta fall into there. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. This leaking world. And the rhododendrons seem to be taking over the garden by the wall. I could dig them for you? No, no, get out. Get out of this house. You leave them be. I don't know how long loading is going to take anymore, so... Bear with me as I try to pick up the pieces of where I was in this game. But yeah, being busy and coming down sick kind of kept me from finishing this before Halloween this year. That's okay, I'll finish it now. And then I'll go back and finish the master levels. Dag on. Found my run button. Man, I don't like this. Hey, there's a page. October 22nd, 1899. Naturally, once bled, the product must be scalded, dehaired, and scraped, ready for gambrel, uh, gambreling and evisceration. 
For this, we pass them through the steam reservoir, which is kept at a constant temperature by passing excess high-pressure venting from the engines via the boiler and series of copper, uh, large copper pipes into a stone chamber just below the workhouse. At the center of the machine, there is a component that must be kept at a cons uh, consistently low temperature, which controls operations of the processing of product through the system. Alongside this, refrigeration is, the is of the utmost importance in retaining product quality, and this also requires heat to be removed from certain areas of the machine. Two problems are therefore combined into a single solution, the removal of heat from some areas and the requirements for increased heat in others. Conducting panels draw heat using the principles of convection regulated by the boiler and sending freezing air along one set of pipes in one direction and superheated vapors in another. Okay, alright. Isn't it dangerous allowing this filthy discharge to collect so close to the core? We can use the flow to drive the turbines. There will always be a torrent of excreta flooding through these tunnels. We can use this to supplement the steam production and ensure constancy. Dear God, the stench! This fecal matter is the true product of the age. mysterious friend is correct. The sewers are indeed flooded. To descend further, I will have to find the local sluice pumps to drop the water levels. The smell is almost unbearable. It makes me gag. Why should the saboteur have flooded the tunnels, though? What did he hope to achieve? Okay, so I have to find the sluice pumps now. That must be all of it. Ah, oh, it's kind of gross. What the fuck? What the fuck? What's that must be? Okay. Yeah, that just comes up here, so... One thing I love is that my E key is broken, which is the one that I used to move forward. And, um, you can't really hear it anymore. Okay. I wanna just creep around over here. how scary this game is just by being there. And I know uh, Soma came out, which is another Frictional Games uh, horror. And I kind of want it. It's a dead end. Nice. Giant mounds of shit. Obviously, this be an electric Pokemon. I think this just goes down here to another dead end. No, that is Sluice Gate number one. How do I open it? I guess I'm gonna have to go that other way. Oh crap. I don't 
think I hear you anymore. Oh my god. Game. Why do you do this? Okay, he's on the other side of this wall. I'm sorry that you can't see anything. Because, uh... over here. I have a feeling I'm going to go down this hallway and that motherfucker's going to start chasing. thing. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't like this. Oh, man. I don't like this one bit, guys. go any before I touch anything else I'm looking around first okay, sluice one and two obviously that's sluice one probably man my freaking left ear itches that's usually not a good sign and it's itching bad phone. wonder if it'll ring. August 1st. Hey, that's my birthday. 1899. Several of the older forms have breached their containment area and escaped into the sewers. They remind me of my limitations. This is no, uh, no chelm and I am no Eliyahu, Eli Eli at least not quite yet. It is the heat generated from keeping the doorway between open that is to blame. We cannot simply pack them about with coolant as we do the uh, as we do at the center where the doorway is. Wow, can I, I cannot read tonight. The later versions are kept safe by the freezing temperature of those towers. Up here, where the air is hot and fetid, they become overheated, and their duality tear uh, and their duality tears them asunder. 
as the other place flies from their cells and their... Yeah. As the other place flies from their cells and their vitae splinters. They live sporadically, torn from one world to the other and back again in violent, unpredictable bursts. For a few seconds, they are creatures of this world. Then, they are torn away and cease to have physical form. This vicious ripping back and forth between worlds has driven them quite insane. I have ordered the affected areas sealed, and will not allow my loyal workers to enter. These are damned places now. The abode of failed experiments. Ghosts of fear and spite. Okay. So. I guess I turned that knob over here. Sluice one is open. What the fuck? Why is the phone ringing now? Fast, Amanda. Drain the waters. Open the way to the bilge pumps. We are waiting for you. I heard him. I thought I heard an oink. Okay, that's sluice gate too. just fucked. I want to go over there. I think that is intentional. Oh my god, I can play with it. That's what she said. So never mind, I'm not going to. This way? Oh no, this is what opened. All right. Shit. Sorry, I'm being quiet, but damn if this isn't keeping me on edge here. Let's actually take a moment, look around. Right. We came back through here. Nice. I know where I'm at. Why was it flickering? My lamp. Uh, yeah, my lamp. It was flickering. Don't do that shit to me, light. I need you. Okay, that's now locked. are safe so far. There's 
what is that? But we can save them. We can set them free. We can replace a rotten old world with a clean new one. Mr. Landis, you sound every bit the fanatic. Well, how can I be otherwise, Professor? How can any man of ethics simply stand by and watch this world drown in its own excrement? And your engineer, this visionary with whom you embarked upon this course, does he share your views? Indeed he does. Indeed he does. The poor fellow has seen it all before. Now, this is not the first great civilization he has wept for. And so you set about things immediately upon your return. Naturally, naturally. These things cannot be left to rot upon the tree. And sponsors were remarkably easy to find. I tell you, Professor, a trail of greed brings rich men to your door like pigs to truffles. Hmm. Man, I don't really have anything to comment and say, like, right now. Other than this shit is, uh, pretty terrifying. Like, I mean, it's not scary, like, super scary. It's more of a matter of when the fuck am I gonna get the shit scared out of me. <laughs> Gate two. All right, I guess I have to go that way. I should have known, obviously. progress that is the thing for sluice too and I know as soon as I open that oh my god it's gonna be bad if I can get in here to get that note to get to the note. There it is. February 17th, 1899. And I said, look, my darlings, can you see it? And they said, yes, daddy, yes, we see it. A tall weathered cap of a steep-sided pyramid, so like those of Egypt. Stone falling away from the summit, vines crawling about intertwining the stucco serpents that thrive about the steps. A palpable sense of stillness, a weight of forgotten. And this here, this is where the king sat. And this is where the priests lived. This house, this is the house of the dead. And here, where the sun strikes, this is where they threw the hearts that were not consumed. No, my darlings, they must certainly, they most certainly were not savages. You see, they believed that the sky could fall on their heads and they truly, truly believed that offering blood was the only way of stopping this from happening. Perhaps, my darling, perhaps they were mistaken altogether. Or perhaps their tragedy was they could simply not spill blood enough to prevent the sky from falling upon, uh, falling in upon them. I ain't got a choice, so let's do it. are now open. That is still shut. I don't want to, I don't want my life. 
light out yet. Okay, that's down there. Ooh, journal. Mandus, post diluvian. That's done it. Now I can enter the strange decontamination chamber once again and move onwards. The waters are pushed back, making the way to the bilge clear, where I can divert the remainder of this filthy torrent back into the Thames where it belongs and clear the path to the center of the machine. I'm going to have to end the episode very soon. You know, right here is a good part, a good place to end it, I feel. So, um, I will see you guys in the next part. I'm Ultima Mantoid, and this is Let's Blind Play Amnesia, a Machine for Pigs. Until next time, take care and have fun.